there is a way to run the stable diffusion software without a graphic card or GPU and for free. Don't believe me? Keep watching and I'll show you how. Stable Diffusion is an artificial intelligence software that can create images from text. Like most AI software, it requires a good graphic card for those intensive computation. As of today, the minimum hardware requirement to run Stable Diffusion is a graphic card with at least 4GB of video RAM. Generally speaking, the more video RAM your graphic card has, the faster the program can go and produce images faster. Some of us don't even own a graphic card, let alone a high-end GPU. However, what if we can rent a computer that has a powerful GPU which we can then use to run the Stable Diffusion software? And by rent, I really mean that it's free of charge. Now you're probably thinking, that sounds too good to be true. Let me introduce you to Google Colab, which is a Google product that allows anyone to write and run Python code through the browser. It's basically a Jupyter Notebook, but it's running on Google's powerful servers instead of our local computers. The good part is that the Google Colab is free to use as long as you have a Google account. And there's more. Google also provides free GPUs for people to use. It's not just any random GPU. At the time of writing, I believe for the free Google Colab accounts, we can get an NVIDIA Tesla T4 GPU, which has 16 gigabyte of video RAM. It's very generous of Google that they provide free resources to people who work on machine learning researches. There's only one downside that we need to be aware. So to make sure that everyone can share the free resources, our Colab notebooks will disconnect from Google's virtual servers after 12 hours of use. And you might get disconnected sooner if your notebook becomes inactive. Even with that, we can already do a lot of things within the 12 hours window, and we can always reconnect to a new session after the 12 hour limit. So technically speaking, it's unlimited usage for free. Without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, head to this Google Colab URL. I'll leave the link in the video description below. So this will open up a notebook created by Hugging Face, which is like an AI playground similar to the site Kaggle. Once we open up the Stable Diffusion Notebook, head to the menu Runtime and click on the Change Runtime Type. And then in the pop-up window in the Hardware Accelerator, click on the drop-down and select GPU and then Save. This will enable GPU for our notebook session. Now let's run the first line of code inside the Colab notebook by just clicking on the play button in front of the code block and you'll get some warnings and that's okay. Just click run anyway to proceed. This will display the available GPU for our notebook session. We can confirm that we got a nice Nvidia Tesla T4 with 16 gigabyte of video RAM. After we enable the GPU, run the next code block to install the required Python libraries, which includes a library called Diffuser that's created by Hugging Face. And the Diffuser library is kind of like a collection of AI models and it's compatible with the Stable Diffusion model. In other words, we can run Stable Diffusion through the Diffuser library. So installing libraries on Google Colab server is pretty quick. I want to mention that it seems like every time our Google Colab notebook disconnect from the server, when we reconnect, we need to reinstall all these libraries. The good thing is installing these libraries on this Google Colab server is pretty quickly. For me, it took less than five minutes to install everything. So even if you get disconnected, that's okay. Just reconnect back and reinstall everything. No big deal there. And after installing all those libraries, run the next bit of code to enable external widgets in Google Colab. After that, run the next bit of code, and this will attempt to connect to Hugging Face. So you will need a Hugging Face account first. Go to the Hugging Face website, register an account, and log in to your account. And then click on your profile icon on the top right corner of the page, and then click on Settings. And then click on the Access Token on the left-hand side. And if you don't already have a token, click on the new token to generate one. Just give your new token any name, anything's fine, and either read or write row is okay. And then click on generate a token. Once we have a token, click on the square icon beside the show. This will copy the token without revealing it. With the token copied, head back to the Colab notebook and paste the token into the input box. And then click on login. And we should see a login successful message in a second. Then run the next bit of code to download the stable diffusion model weight. Note here the default FP16 and the torch.float16 arguments will download the half precision model weights. 
I find these model ways give pretty good results uh, while the program runs pretty fast. So I'm going to stick with the half precision weight and the download will probably take five minutes. So just let it run patiently. Once we have the model weights, our Python environment is ready to go. And let's run this bit of code that will move the diffuser pipeline to our Tesla GPU. Then the next bit of code is where we kick off a stable diffusion run. And just want to point out some of the arguments that I use inside the pipe constructor. So the prompt is the text that describes what kind of image that we want to create for the number of inference steps. Generally speaking, the higher the number of inference steps, the better overall image quality it will be. The width is just going to be the width of the generated image, and the height is going to be the height of the final image. And you're more than welcome to copy the prompt, which I copied from a Reddit post, thanks to that author. So this is going to generate a wonderful traditional Japanese CD, it's going to be a daylight, um, gonna have a vibrant color and you will see crowd on the street and uh, it's gonna be a white shot so try it on your own machine so one thing I want to mention here is that I didn't use a seed for this generation so even though you copy the same prompt when you run it on your own machine you mostly get a different image but hopefully you'll get a good one all right, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun creating awesome images using the Stable Diffusion software, and I'll see you in the next one. I have to add this short clip into this video after finishing editing it. I was too naive and I thought that Google was going to offer free GPU for unlimited usage for free forever. But the truth is, nothing is free forever. After two days of extensive use and generating a few hundreds of images on Google Colab, I got this message. So basically, I cannot connect to GPU right now and I have no idea how long I have to wait until I'm able to get back to connect to a GPU. And for free service like this, I'm not going to complain about the usage since I've generated hundreds of pictures for free already. So Google still has my thumb up, but I just want to put it out there. If you think that you can use Google Colab for free to generate thousands and thousands of pictures for free, then you're as naive as me.